Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Feel free to let me know if otherwise. Today we're covering WEN32 Priority Separation. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by myself. Please make sure that you have your notifications turned on for the channel. You might think it's on even if it's not, so give it a check. And if you'd like to support me further, you can do so for $3 a month for a cool badge next to your name. And lastly, go follow my Twitter linked in description as well. Now onto the video. WEN32 Priority Separation is a built-in Windows feature that allows the user to optimize processor usage on the foreground and background. In other terms, it helps set the CPU priority to prefer the foreground apps or background use of the processor, like services or processes. We have a lot of values here that we'll be trying out today. Let me explain what we're looking at first. Term number one, fixed. This refers to a constant time slice that is allocated to each process for execution. Regardless of the process's priority or other factors, it gets the same amount of CPU time before the scheduler switches to another process. Variable. The time slice allocated to a process varies based on its priority level. Processes with higher priority levels levels get longer time slices, allowing them to execute more instructions before being preempted by lower priority processes. Short and long quantum refers to the time that the Windows process scheduler allocates to a thread, which a thread is what a CPU needs to execute a stream of instructions. It's the basic unit of CPU utilization. So in other words, it's literally everything that runs on your computer. And then the last thing we need to know is foreground boost, which gives the program on the front of the screen extra quantum time up to two or three times depending on the setting. Why do we want to change this? Well, we want to lower something called context switching, which is when a thread gets put on hold to work on another one. Computationally, it can be very heavy on the CPU, which is why we want to try to minimize it. The default setting for priority separation would be 38. We'll be doing practically every single option. So 20, 21, 22, 24, 36, 37, 38, 40, and 42. As always, we use latency mon and cap frame X for benchmarking. Let's get into it. For FPS, a value of 20 worked best for me, which includes the best 0.2% lows. Next, I'd recommend trying 24, and then for third place, we have 22. When it comes down to latency mon, 42 had the best all-around latency, but 21 was about the same as 42, but had better ISR latency. And then lastly, we have third place with 24. If you're curious about the rest of my results, I'll be posting them in my Discord sometime after this video launches. Now, on paper, 22 should be the best value since it's a times three foreground boost with long quantum, but honestly, since 24 placed in both categories, it might be worth starting there, and then if that doesn't run good, then try either 22 or 42. And we can change that by following this registry path that I'll be leaving in the description for you guys to copy and paste. Once here, just double click, go to decimal, and input the value that you'd like to try. That'll be all for this video. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.